Here we go. Hi guys. How's it going today? I had a good day. Today was my first day out of quarantine. So excited. I got on my scooter and drove or rode, whatever is the appropriate term for a scooter. I think it's road. I went to my first place out of quarantine, the gas station, because I needed gas for a while. It was such a peculiar experience going into a store for the first time in two weeks, and I just got gas and a soda. And it was so surreal. You know, two weeks of quarantine is not really that hard. Who am I kidding? It was a, it was a struggle. I don't know what I would have done without Postmates or Instacart. Oh my god. Really. I mean, living alone, that was weird. Though, I do have Kitty here. Um, I don't know if you can see her in this. She's kind of on the arm of the couch, chair, whatever. <laughs> but she's not the best conversationalist, I gotta say. But I went out, I went over to a friend's house and we safely socially distanced, hung out and caught up. I hadn't seen him for some time so we got a chance to catch up on things. And then as I was leaving, I decided to take a detour downtown and came across another friend of mine who he flagged me down. And it was really great thing because I thought I had already missed it because I thought it happened in the afternoon, but it actually was just about to start. And I got to see the Southern New Mexico Pride Parade. They had a social distance Pride Parade where people had their cars and everything uh, dressed up with rainbow flags and signs and everything. My phone kind of died, so I was able to get like two photos before it was over. But it was such fun to see the people who were out. Um, there weren't a lot of people out, and the ones who were were keeping their, their distance. And it was so great to see friends. I saw friends I hadn't seen forever. And then I ended up chatting with the friend who flagged me down for like uh, at least two hours afterwards. It was great. We caught up, caught up. I found out what he was doing. I told him how I was doing. It was, it was so much fun. And that's the thing that I've missed about this whole pandemic is the human connection that you don't get through online. Granted, I am very grateful for my online communities. I've found some good friends through that. But there is still a connection that you don't get that you get with someone when you're physically there in front of you. And it was great to reconnect with some people who I hadn't spoken to in months. It, it was so strange. We talked and you know, laughed and joked and it was wonderful. I miss that so much. <sighs> and tomorrow I'm supposed to go to work. I have been working from home and no more tank tops <laughs> and pajama bottoms. I actually have to wear real clothes. We don't like real clothes. Oh, I don't mind. <laughs> it's just really warm here. It's We've been can, having 100 degree weather pretty frequently. So I just don't like warm weather. Don't know why I live here. Still don't. I'm not sure. I don't know if you can hear the fan that I have blowing on me. Because if I didn't have that, I would be sweating. 
Probably not. It is like 1.30 in the morning, so it's probably down to like 70-something degrees. <sighs> but it's still warm. And yeah, you don't want that. <sighs> but yeah. as you can see, my fringe is still intact. I don't know if I want to cut my hair or not. I'm having second thoughts. I used to have like, you know, side sweat bangs. I like that. Um, but I don't know, now I'm kind of like, oh, maybe not. Second thoughts. I'm never one of those for like quarantine hair, so you're not going to find me just being like, oh, I'm going to buzz off one side of my head or I'm going to dye my hair pink and purple. And no, that doesn't happen. I dyed my hair temporarily once in like middle school green. And it was like one of those temp dyes that you just like kind of spray in for Halloween. And it was for spirit week. It was crazy hair day or something like that and I remember frantically being in the girls restroom after school just like with my head in the sink washing it. and I was like my mom will get so mad if I have color in my hair and then when I was in college I dyed my hair and I remembered distinctly going to like Walmart or something and picking out this color called Egyptian plum and I had my sweet mates in my dorm dye it for me. And my mom called while that was happening, answered the phone. And, and she's like, what are you doing right now? And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm here in my dorm and my sweet mates dyeing my hair. And my mom was so upset. She's like, why are you dyeing your hair? And I said, you always told me, as long as you're not under my roof, you can do whatever you want to with your hair. And my mom was like, yes, I did say that. You're an adult now. Granted, I was, like, barely 18, but that's okay. Uh, it didn't look too good on me. I didn't look good with purple hair. Or green hair, which is a shame because green is my favorite color. But, you know, maybe I'll dye my hair a crazy color one of these days. Who knows? Maybe I'll feel squirrely about it. Mm, I care. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I don't know what this video was about, really, honestly. Just sort of my ranting and ratings. My first day going out amongst the living, venturing out. I survived. I might go get a COVID test just because even though I don't have any symptoms, I was in an area that was increasing in cases. But I wore a mask, washed my hands, used hand sanitizer, I don't have any of the symptoms. I don't know if they'll let me take a COVID test because I don't have any of the symptoms. I have to check with the health department to see about that. I've had the COVID test. It was an experience. I thought they were going to do one nostril. They did both. It is not the most thrilling experience in the world. Do not Google how long the Q-tip is. Don't do that at all. Not before you take the test. You can do that afterwards, which is what I did. And I'm very grateful for that. <laughs> but I will probably take it again just to reassure myself. Even though my going out and dealing with the public today, I did it safely and social distance. I only went into one store. That was that gas station. Because I wanted to get something to drink, not just pay at the pump. And I got food on the way home, but I used the drive through and the restaurant was being adhering to all of our state's uh, regulations in order to keep everything safe. And then while I was catching up with friends, we were social distancing and wearing masks. So we were all being safe. And that's what you should be doing too. And I hope you all are safe and are having a great day and I am going to try go to bed because I have work at some point in the morning 
So it's already Monday morning. Haha. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys later. Bye.